All right, so <laughs> guys, this has been like so crazy. I, I finished filming and then um, I caught a glimpse of my toe when I went to move my camera down to show you where this bin is, which is in this drawer over here. Um, so I caught a glimpse of my pinky toe, which you guys know I have like serious issues with my feet, but um, I've actually dislocated my pinky toe like three or four times. And like when I say dislocated, I mean like totally off the bones of my feet, like had to go to the hospital, like get like numbing injections, like the doctor had to reset it, x-rays, etc. cetera. Um, and like when you dislocate something, no matter what it is, it's almost like a balloon. Like if you have like a balloon and then you inflate it, like it's never gonna go back to the way that it was. So um, it just, it tends to kind of like pop off, pop off. I know I'm sorry, that sounds disgusting, but it tends to pop off all the time. And anyway, like if it's not dislocated, it doesn't bother me. Like it doesn't hurt, it's not swollen, I don't feel anything. You can tell it looks a little different than the rest of the toes because it's like thicker because the bone never reset like properly aligned the way it used to be. Um, but that was like fine. So this past week, um, every time I have shoes on, it's been like really hurting me, like to the point where I've been limping and like no shoe is comfortable, like everything makes it hurt. Um, if I like touch it against something, like you know, like if you stub your toe, it's like, oh fuck, and then the pain is gone. Like if I like slightly bang this into something or if Gatsby's paw like hits it, like it's un fucking bearably painful. So I was filming this and like I moved my legs. I was sitting cross-legged on the floor and I moved my legs to like reposition myself and all of a sudden I Gatsby, I saw my toe and it was like black, gray and purple. Like it looked like it was like a corpse toe. It looked like a Beetlejuice toe. Like I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? Like do I have frostbite? Like what is this? It like constantly feels like it has pins and needles. Um, I'm literally sitting here like, oh my God, I must have frostbite and like not even know it. Despite the fact that my home is like 70 degrees right now, like why is my toe gray? So I freaked out and I called my podiatrist who I'm like, I like text with her, like that's how many issues I have with my toe. So I called her crying and I was like, oh my God, I was like, I think I have like frostbite. There's something wrong with my toe. Like, I swear to God, it's either going to fall out or I'm going to need to have it amputated. Like, please make room for me today. This is so not normal. So of course she's like laughing at me and she's like, can you come in this afternoon? So uh, I'm going to go see my podiatrist in literally three and a half hours and hopefully there's nothing seriously wrong with my toe. I am like freaking out. It's so... <laughs> I know I sound crazy. Okay, this is a wax video. Like, let me stop talking about my toe. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's like, I'm telling you, like, I, I never had problems with my feet until like, I like really became an athlete and like work out every day and like played sports and became a distance runner and all of these things. Like athletics are great and I love them, but like you shouldn't have to be on a texting basis with your like sports podiatrist. Like that's not normal. <laughs> this is not normal. Anyway, this is my bin and this is kind of like the, I don't know exactly how to describe this. This is just kind of like random stuff that like didn't have a place in the drawer where I'm like describing things. Like some of these things are like half used, like some of them are just things I want to grab at. So this is just kind of like my miscellaneous bin that I keep over here. So to start, I have some clamshells, obviously a vanilla cookie crunch, which I always have on hand. This one only has three cubes left, but as I was showing you in the drawers the last video, I'm sure I will find plenty to blend with that. Um, this next one is Prosecco Berries from the Bathing Garden. This is a really nice scent um, that I don't reach for much, but I do like this one, so I figured I'll just leave it in there. This one is Poseidon, and this is a weird scent. Um, I have it in here because I honestly don't know if I like it or not. It's very... It's strange, it's a strange scent. Um, and my husband said the same thing. He was like, what is this smell? So I read him the scent notes and he's just like, okay, I, I don't know if I like it or not. And I'm like, cool, neither do I. Um, this next one is from Sassy Girl. Fresh Rain Snuggle Type. This smells really soapy. It doesn't smell like snuggle. Um, it's like some vendors like rain smells like soap to me and this is one of those soapy ones. So um, yeah, I don't tend to reach for it much but I wanna just kinda use it up. 
Back here is Wilma's Pink Lavender Mallow. I love this one. I love this one during the day. I love it in the morning, the afternoon. I love it to sleep too. So that's why I have it here because it's just that good. I actually need to order more of this because it's pretty amazing. In the back here, I have this from Southbound. It is Southern Jubilee, and it is Blueberry Slushy Cotton Candy Frosting Sweet Tart Lemonade. This is definitely an in-your-face summer scent, but it's so good, and it's coming up to like a year old, so I just wanted to like make sure I had it like in the foreground of things to melt so I can like use it up before I lose it. <laughs> Another one from Sniff My Tarts. This is Buttercream Drizzle Bread, Mango Sorbet, and Apricot Vanilla. I don't love apricot in wax, but this is not so strong on the apricot. This is a really interesting, like, it's a very springy, fruity bakery. Like, this just smells like spring to me, so that's why this is here. That's the Wilma's. A couple of scent shots. I have this White Girl Wasted from Kitty's Confections, and this is like a fizzy, fruity, tart scent. I have a little bit left in here that I just want to finish up. Uh, this next one is Daydreaming, which is Lavender Creamsicle Ice Cream Scoop Bread. I love lavender and orange together. I'm not a big fan of ice cream scoop bread, so I kind of just want to use this up. This is the same with the pistachio from Sassy Girl Aroma, where this is that cherry pistachio. Not my favorite pistachio, but still good, so I'll melt it. I have one left of this Bath & Body Works Pure White Cotton, but this is a really great laundry scent, nice and strong in the wax. And Winter Candy Apple also from Bath & Body Works. I like this one in the bathroom. It's not too, too strong, but I do love that scent. And for some reason, it's nice in the bathroom. So that's it for the wax. And then there's two bags back here. Here you go, sweetie. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, let me grab his ball. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. There you go. Um, this one here is Christmas Cream. This is Southbound's Yognog Dupe, and it is so amazing. Love this in the bedroom and the bathroom. Um, I may just save this for the master bathroom because it's a really nice bathroom scent, but at the same time, I enjoy it, so I wanted to have it on hand. This next one is the Bay de Cassis from Hayden Rowe. This is so crazy strong. I don't think this needs any more cure time, even though this was just poured in February. A little bit goes a long way. It is so strong. It's a nice, fresh, clean scent. Definitely not the dupe, but it's still a really lovely scent that I do like to have on hand. And I just really like it in this area, in this guest house. It fills up the entire place. It just makes it smell like I just finished cleaning. Like. Yeah, like I just finished cleaning, like spraying things down, windexing. It's got that little bit of like a stringent cleaner vibe to it, but it's nice. It's a really good clean scent, so it's really nice in here. So that is that. I do also have that little bag of Poor Girls back there, and that is that um, Sugar Milk Loaf. And that's just there because it's one of my favorites, and I like don't want to be without it, but I probably will end up hoarding it and probably not melting it in here. So that is that. That's a really light stash from what it was last month, but like I said, I really am just bringing it all over. Oh, my toe's looking disgusting again. Oh my gosh. I would show you guys, but it's on my foot that only has nine and a half toes. I, I know, my feet are really messed up to begin with. It's, I'm not gonna, I'm like contemplating, should I show them? I'm not gonna show you because you'll have nightmares for the rest of your life, so. I'm not gonna do that. You don't need to see my disgusting feet. So, that is it, that is that last part, but what you can see is Gatsby, because he's cute. Hi, what are you doing? Oh, just licking my carpet? Okay. What? What was the sound? What is it, sweetie? Is that your ball? What are you doing? You are so cute. You are so cute. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't get the attitude. What? You saying hi? <laughs> oh, excuse you. What is it? Almost. Oh, did you hear a thing? All right, guys, so that is it for this video. I'm so sorry I had a toe emergency in the middle of it. Otherwise, it would have been one straight video, but whatever. At least I'm getting it checked. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next shit show. Bye, guys.